This is Andrew and Vicky from Down to Earth Opals in Lightning Ridge, Australia. Lightning Ridge is world famous because the best opal on the planet is found here, the elusive black opal. Over 25 years, Down to Earth Opals has built its international reputation based upon passion, quality, experience, and integrity. Opal mining is not for the faint of heart. Lightning Ridge is in the Australian outback with summer temperatures in excess of 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The town is surrounded by semi-desert, home to huge emus, kangaroos, feral pigs, and snakes. Opal miners are tunnel miners. Descending their vertical shafts to the opal level anywhere from 50 to 100 feet below. Their roof is made of sandstone. The more fractured the better for opal, but incredibly dangerous. As the miners tunnel following opal trace, they have to support the roof of their mine from collapse. Today, Andrew and his offsider Corey are lowering cypress logs down into the claim in order to secure parts of the roof before they become a danger. Some of these logs, or props as they are called, can weigh in excess of 140 kilograms or 300 pounds. Just getting them down into the claim is incredibly hard work. Andrew is 50 feet down below waiting for Corey's signal. Communication is key because if Andrew happens to be under the shaft when the prop comes down, he has no chance of getting out of the way. Andrew gives the signal and gets well out of the way. All right, you there? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna walk away, I'm ready for number one. All right, ready when you are, go for it. Coming down. Now. It takes only two seconds for the prop to drop 50 right feet. Up. Down yeah, below, the sound of the prop reverberates through the mine. Andrew then has to use his sheer strength to move the prop away from the shaft so that the next prop lands on the soft clay bed. The props come down one by one. Okay, now! Now.
By the time the 12th prop is down, Andrew has no strength left. So, this is how you get the props down. I think everything's broken. We've still got the caps and the caps, top and bottom, and the wedges to go. This is the easy part. After this, we've got to sculpt out the roof and the floor and cut them and start propping. Awesome. Finally, come the caps and wedges used to put the prop into position. I'll take four. So if I'm like, like working here, mm -hmm. like this, yeah. I'll drop that, it'll just fall. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's over there. The areas to be propped are still safe, but Andrew intends to remove opal bearing clay from here. So in order for the roof to retain its integrity, he must secure it now before any material is taken away. Sandstone lumps can weigh hundreds of kilograms and could drop without warning. The area where the prop is intended to go must be cleaned of loose earth. There is no easy way. Both men have to attack this task and remove all the loose clay before propping can start. Heads through there now, mate. Yeah, it's great. See how you got your roof edge back? Yep. You got there. We'll clean this out and then we'll just shave the toe. Mm -hmm. And um, you'll be fine. Corey sculpts out flat sections in the roof and floor, ready for the cabs. Alrighty, so we'll do your prop in against this void. Mm -hmm. Here's our roof. Yeah. 
The prop height is measured, then the prop is cut with an electric chainsaw. Once cut, Andrew and Corey must maneuver the prop into position. Put it up. It's not a heavy one, this one. No, it's not. I just made those noises just for the hell of it. Okay. Here, let go. Did we want it moving in or out? I can't remember. We're lining it up with the other one. Corey then uses all of his strength to hammer in the wedges and ensure the prop can carry low. The men repeat this with the next prop. Three props in a half day. A job well done. It's time for the men to head home after a grueling day down in the opal mine. That's what happens when you use too much power. Only one, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just way too much. There we go. All right, what's next? Okay.
getting bigger. Hey? They're getting bigger. I know. They're getting longer. They feel longer. <laughs> I've got to clear more space because... What I'm doing is I'm putting one down and I'm rolling it along over the top of another one. Put yeah. to it. Because they're, they're just six inches too long for my landing space. Yeah, right. So I'll, I'll clear a bit more area this time. Every time I clear an area, it drops into a different spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Six, six to go. Hey? Six to go. Awesome. Halfway. Okay. You're going to go, you bastard. Now what's going to happen? I oh, know. Put that there, Andrew. Move the tool. Push it and run away. That didn't work. Oh dear. Um, right, okay. That all fell apart, so I have to put them back together again. Yeah, that's right. on the bloody side of the road. Right. So we've got to cut under there, so we'll take off about this much. Right, okay. Do you have any safety glasses? Yes. We'll always follow safety whilst underground. We always follow safety while we're underground. Um, don't do this at home. No, well this is but, home. Well, no, yeah, but don't you, you do it at home. Don't you do it at home. <laughs> what we're about to do next, you can do at home because we're going to have safety. Yeah, because we're trained know. stunt That's professionals. Right. Exactly. Here I have salmon and teal, they're shades, not colours. <laughs> 